Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about angles. We have seen rays. So, let's let me draw a ray. Let me call this ray as this point as A and here B. So, this is ray AB. Now, if I have another ray which uses the start point A. So, the start point of the second ray also is same as A. So, let me draw it. So, maybe this one and I call this point as C. So, I have one more ray AC and between these two rays the start point of both the rays is common, same. It is A. In that case, these rays are said to form an angle. So, it is supposed to form an angle. And it is shown by a small curve here. Now, these rays which form this angle AB and AC, they are called arms of the angle. And the common start point of these rays is called vertex. Now, how do we name this angle? This angle sometimes is named as angle A. But that is not the most appropriate method. Why I will explain you here. So, here I have three rays. Each one of them have start point as A. And they form three different angles. So these two rays, they form one angle. And these two rays, they also form one angle. Now, if I say angle A, which one of these angles is angle A? So, it is difficult to now tell us, distinguish between which one is the real angle A. So, that's why the best method is to name the angle with three points. For example, here, in this case, we will call this angle as B, A, C. Now, we start from a point on the ray, then we will go to the vertex and then we will go to the point on the second ray. So, vertex always will be in the center. We will name it using three letters or three points. And the vertex will always be in the center. So, now in this case, the pink angle will be called angle BAC. Whereas, This is angle CAD and the last one is angle BAD. Observe that the vertex is always at the center. Let's talk about one more thing about angle which is interior of an angle and exterior of an angle. So, we have angle BAC and we want to know what is the interior of angle. What we can do is we can start drawing perpendicular lines like this from ray AB and then we will draw perpendicular lines from ray AC as well.
Now wherever we get this crisscross pattern and that area if you see is lying between these two rays. The crisscross pattern is lying between these rays. This area is interior area. An area which is does not have any crisscross pattern. So all this area is called exterior of the angle. Now do you see that interior is only this much area is interior? No, because we know that these rays are going to extend. They are ever extending and hence the interior area also will be infinite. It will ever extend. Same way with the exterior area, ever extending. Now, the points as we have seen in polygon, the points which are on the arm or which are on these rays, they are called, they are on the angle. So, if we do this again, see this, which are the points which are in interior, exterior and on the angle. So, an interior of angle. Let's talk about the points which are interior of the angle. So, we can see point D is going to be in the interior. Point G also will be in interior when we extend these arms. If you see, point G is going to be in interior of the angle. So, it is D and G. These are in the interior of the angle and which are in the exterior of the angle. Obviously, point H and point E, they are on the exterior of the angle. And which are on the angle, the points which are on the angle. So, A, F, B, C, these are all on the angle. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.